Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. I did count the digits when I set the puzzle and took this from the New York Times website, so credit to them. I saw 22 digits, but unlike yesterday, at least every row, column, and 3x3 outlined region has at least one digit in it, so maybe this will be easier. We'll see. Hopefully I can scan the board a little bit better. Okay, I've got two ones in rows one and three. I can place a one in one of two spots in row two. In the middle three rows, uh, yeah, that's a tight yet for the top three rows. One, two, four, five, six, eight. In the middle three rows, I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three is the only repeat digit. I can place a three on the corners, but that's ruled out, so I actually have a three right off the bat. And I know one of those two is a three now. Okay, in the bottom three rows, two, three, four, six, seven, nine. Okay, two's the only thing I can do a repeat on. They're in row seven and eight. I can place a two in the bottom corners of row nine. The center cell is ruled out by the two that's already there. And now we look at columns. I'd already done the three based on getting three in row 5. I can also do a 6 in one of those two spots. Oh, and those 4s are going to place a 4 in one of these two, but that's ruled out, so that's a 4. That in turn makes this a 4. And that's as far as that logic is going to go. 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6. Okay, I'm good there. 5, 3, 2, so I'm done. Uh, the middle columns, 2, 1, 7, 8, 4, 5, 3, 9. I've got one of every single digit except 6. So I'm done there. 8, 3, 7, 1, 9, 2, 6, 4. On the right 3. So that's all I get. Okay, well, let's see. I've got 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. Well, let's see. I need to place a 1 in box 5, and those two can't be it, so a 1 is in one of these two, which combined with this one is going to make a 1 in one of those two. Uh, I need to place a 9 in one of these two, or these two, so it's going to be one of those two. What do I need? 1... 2, 6, and 9. Let's see, that's 2 or 6, it can't be 9. That's everything but 1. I think this is still anything, and that's not 9. Let's see, row 5 is also interesting. 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 says I need 1, 2, 7, 9 to place. Now, that one happens to see 1, 2, and 9 in its column. That's a 7. Therefore, this isn't 7 or 9. Neither is that. Because 9 is given in the box, so that's a 1, 2 pair. This turns into 7, 9. Consequently, but that has a 7 looking at it, so I know that's a 9 immediately. Which just confirms that there's a 9 in one of these two. Okay. I now have 6 digits in box number 6. I need to place 5, 6, and 8. That can't be 6. These three are 5, 6, and 8. Of which that's not 8. That's not 6. mark that as a triple. It's a weird spot for it, but annoyingly, those two could also be five. That doesn't help me much. Okay, well, this cell is rather restricted. It cannot be two, three, four, six, or nine. That one isn't three, four, six, or nine, so it, two is one, five, seven, eight, but it could also be two. 
these three, four, six, and nine are ruled out. Adds is seven because it's in the row. That one takes out five in its column. That one takes out two in its column. Okay, so sevens are one of these two. We knew that already from those sevens. Two, three, four, nine says I need one, five, six, seven, eight in column three. None of these are five, it's in the box. That one sees one and six in its row. That one sees one and eight also in its row. Those could be seven and those could still be seven. That's moderately annoying. Let's see, one, two, seven, nine in column eight. What does that tell me? I need three, four, five, six, eight to place. Actually, neither of these are six or eight. And that's not four. In its row, that's not five, also in its row. That's anything, that's these four and six. Wait a minute, okay, these two rules this, these out. So two is literally in one of those two spots. Well, it doesn't tell me anything about place digits, does it? Well, maybe it does. Because those aren't eight. Yeah, these aren't eight. Eight's in here. Annoyingly, eight could be in a whole bunch of spots. I was trying to look to see if I could place an eight somewhere in the rightmost three columns, but I don't think I can. to work on the middle of the grid some more. Uh, column 5 might be interesting. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 7, 9. I need 1, 5, 6, and 8. And the remaining digits, that one sees everything but 6. That's not 6, and that's not 6. Okay, so that's a 1, 5, 8. That's a triple. Let's see, six means that presumably that's seven because it sees one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, as well as nine. That is a hidden seven. So that's not seven, and this is. Seven will make that eight. These are not eight. That turns into a one five pair, which means that's six. And therefore, that's one, that's three, by my markings, uh, corner markings. These two, let's see, one five is going to mean those are two eight. Whoops, wrong mode. Okay, the, these two are two and six, and that one has a six looking at it. No, they're not two and six, they're two and nine. It helps that I mark it correctly, but this one being eight does mean that's a five. So those are one eight. That only gives me three digits in box number eight though. But let's see, what, what work can I do here? Two, 
28 says these aren't 2. And that's not 8. One, two, well, that's not a hidden quad because I've only got one and two in good spots. I don't have that for six and nine yet. But I can do a lot of work on the top of the grid now, I think, as well as down here. Um, th these can't be two or four, right? Three is already in this column, but two isn't, and the only place it can go is therefore that one. So two, eight. Uh, these are seven, eight, nine. Um, not seven. Okay, that's a triple. I'll go ahead and mark it, because that'll help me identify these digits as one and five. In that takes care of the entirety of the left row of this grid. Now, what about the top row? The top row has 1, 3, 5, 6, 8. I need 2, 4, 7, and 9. Okay, these aren't 2. That's not 7. Let's see. That's not 7, and that's not 7. Okay, so 7 is one of those two, and combined with that 7 is going to mean that 7 is one of those two. Now, it can't be here because of that 7. It can't be here because of that 7, and therefore that's a hidden 7. Well, let's see. By odd and even logic, I only have one even digit left. That's an 8. Now, where does 8 go in row 2? It can't go here. Or here, because of the given 8 in box 3. It can't go here, because of that given 8, so it must go there. Okay, so those two cells are from 3, 5, or 9. They're the only odds left. Okay, now that's a triple. Let me go mark that with a color, orange. Okay, this one, not one, two, five, six, or eight. So it's from three, four, seven, nine, of which only seven is seen. And see, that cell is not 1, 6, 7, or 8. So it's from 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, but it sees 4, and it's column 5 in its row. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this can't be 8. That's a 5, 6 pair, so guess what? That's an 8. that tell me, which I knew already, was that one of those is an 8. Let's see, these two are not 2, 3, 7, or 8. They start from 1, 4, 5, 6, 9. That one only sees 9. That one sees 4 and 6, though. These are not, you know, the only even digit they could be is a 2. Except this can't be 2 because of that. So 2 in, well, that might be a 2, but I can't prove that. This 2 is the only cell that makes one of those 2 be a 2, and one of these 2 also be a 2. 
but can I prove that? Be that as it may, these are not 2, 4, 6, 7, or 8, so we're down to odd digits. Strictly 1, 3, 5, or 9 in that configuration. Okay, 6 isn't one of those. 3, unfortunately, not quite as restricted. Let's see. This could be a whole lot of things. Right? We know it's not 9 because that's in the box. This isn't 2 or, or 8. Those are the only other digits it sees. That's not 2, 3, or 7. Along with it, well, none of those could have been 8. That one just sees 4 and 6. Now, there's a 1, 8 pair here, which means none of these are 1. Okay, these ones. I get rid of 9 in the box. 1 and 8 by pair logic. Two in the row, five in the column. That one takes out two, three, seven in the row, and five in the column. That one takes out four, five, and six. Four, six by row, and five by column. Okay, now I have to start making some deductions here. Bottom third of this grid is not going to help me much. I mean, I'm st I'm still tempted to argue that this is a two because that's the only way that one of those two in column nine, one of these two in box three, can be a two, and see where that goes. So I'm going to make a conjecture. I like this in red to see if I'm right. That's a two. We'll fix this one too. Two is going to fix that nine two. Let's see, one means none of these are one. That turns into a three five nine, which is a triple. And therefore, that can't be five or nine. That's a one. This isn't five by triple logic. That's not 5 or 3, also by triple logic. Oh, that's not 3 either, so that turns into an 8. This isn't. <coughs> that's not 1 by place digit. It still can't be 5, so that turns into a 4, 6 pair. That means that's not 4 or 6, and neither is that. Okay, three. Well, unfortunately, that's not a triple, though. Let's see. But this nine means that's not nine. I'm now going to look for the three, four pair in row three. Lovely. That's a quad. Um, no, if that, that's one eight, then I've got a problem there. Okay, so we determined that making that two was not correct. Okay. So there's some there's flawed logic somewhere. Well, um, the 
Undy, undy, uh. Okay, what other definitive logic choices can I sit? That's not four by given. That's not four by placement. That's not four by given. Um, no, placement. That's not four by given. Okay, four is definitely one of those. Okay, that says one of these is definitely a four. Hmm, well that's interesting. Because I've got four, six, and eight limited to these three cells and their corners. That may be a hidden triple. So if these, if the 4 is definitely in this position in row 8, then it can't be there in row 7. Okay? Now if that's a 4, 6, 8, which I'm going to assume that it is, whoops. Well, if that sees 4 and 6, it must be 8. So these are four and six. Whoops, they're definitely not seven. Okay, that says those aren't six. Uh, this eight makes that one, and that eight. Okay, that's nine. This is an eight or nine by row, so be, that triple's done. Okay, 7 means those two are not 7. 9 is going to mean this is not 9. That 1 means these cells are not 1. Okay, 1, 5 there means that's not 5. So that ends up as a 4, 6 pair. Seriously? Okay, now I have to make some other logical deductions. Uh, the only place for 1 in column 7 is here. So that's 1. That's a 2. This is not 2, and that may have been... Yeah, that was my logical error. I tried to assume firstly that this was a 2, and that was not correct. Okay, now the only place for 2 in row 3 is that cell at the far left. That's a 9. Uh, this is, ends up as 4, 7, so which forces that to be a 2? Okay. Are there any other column deductions that I can make? These aren't three, therefore three must be in one of those two. Combined with that three means one of these must be a three, and therefore these are not three. I've got seven in one of those, five in one of these, three in one of these, and two in one of these. Okay, so two, three, five, seven, that's left as a hidden quad. I've got four cells and only two places for each of them. Let's see, nine in one of these two doesn't tell me anything I don't know. Five unfortunately has way too many options in box nine to make me feel comfortable. But five nine here means that can't be 5. That's my next deduction. That's a 6. That's going to unwind a lot of things. 3, 
four, nine, five to complete box three. This can't be three, that's nine. Row two is done, that's a three. Uh, six is going to make that two. This one. Uh, that's six, that nine. Five makes this one in row four. Six in column four comes down, four, six. The two in row six comes down, that's three, seven, five, two. The five in row seven comes over, one and five are done. The four in column four comes down, that's seven and four. Five is going to make that nine, that one, that three, that five, and... Okay, it took me 25 minutes, but... At least I got out of my mistake. The key was finding the hidden triple in box 9. If I hadn't found that, I'd have been lost. Once I found that hidden triple, everything else unwound relatively straightforward after that. It was just scan by row, scan by column, figure out, okay, there's only one instance for a given digit in a given row or column, and it unwound relatively beautifully from that point. So cool.